Hi, today's date is the 10th of January 2022. It's day seven of my carnivore diet. Um, been a bit of up and down over the weekend where sometimes I feel very, um, you know, I could just eat carbs. It's a mad rush to want to eat carbs. Um, so far I've noticed um, pain that I'd been having for quite a number of months now on and off in my index finger. Um, to the, uh, that I'd, I don't know why this began. It was after doing the monkey bar work, funny enough, um, on the DCT program. And it was getting to the point that even brushing my teeth was very painful with using my right hand. And I've noticed now the pain is almost gone. It's almost gone. I don't know whether that's a placebo effect. I don't know. I'm also noticing more clarity of thought, less anxiety, feel more relaxed in my body. Not always, but sometimes. Um, I'm, I also had a weird experience eating fish uh, Sunday morning. Um, some salmon which I cooked on the George Foreman and after I ate it I felt like a sense of euphropia, euphropia, a sense of well-being which was unusual. Um, now I, I did mention previously I'd, uh, I, uh, a doctor many many years ago thought I had reactive hypoglycemia which is a non-diabetic form of hypoglycemia where you can eat a lot of carbs and then all of a sudden your blood sugar will drop because what I've noticed is when I get these these signs of having a hyper like irritability, shakiness in my hand, etc., I check my blood sugar and my blood sugar is within normal limits. And this can be a sign of reactive hypoglycemia. And again, no one really knows what the causes of this. But very often I would binge eat on carbs, especially white potatoes. So I'm going to keep going with the carnivore diet, see what happens. But I think long term, I will probably add in um, low glycemic carbs into my diet. But it's definitely taught me that all this, the sugary foods and the processed stuff is no good for the body. It's definitely no good. I think that's a, pretty much a foregone conclusion with the clarity of thought. Now, it could be because, yes, I'm only eating meat, but I've eradicated very suddenly all anything processed, sugary and, and these carbs. Um, and if you think about it, that could be why I'm experiencing more clarity of thought, maybe. Um, so it not, 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 not necessarily might be the reason uh, that just eating carnivore, carnivore diet gives you these benefits. Now, if we look at the Hasda tribe, um, they, they eat predominantly meat and they even dream of hunting and eating meat. It's, it's something to be relished when they on a hunt actually catching meat and they will cherish the organ meats especially but they also eat tubers from the ground if need be um, and they'll eat honeycombs as well so we can't i don't think we can say we are exclusively meant to eat meat although there are some um cultures in the world that do for example the inuit people who predominantly eat fish um so it's, it's quite it's quite interesting um and we obviously type 2 diabetes is massively on the rise now. It's become an epidemic in the same way as pelvic pain is, or will be, I'm sure you it will be. Um, so yeah, so that's day seven, day seven. Uh, yeah, thank you.